Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Wonderful God. Wonderful God. So de beha barando rebebios. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say, my father, my father, my father. Ignite me with your fire of revival. When this fire fall upon you, you become, you become prayerful. Nobody can stop you. Become prayer control, uncontrollable. Hallelujah. When this anointing come upon you, begin to pray. Pray carelessly. You begin to pray with this unction. You are eating, you are praying. You are in the toilet, you are praying. You are waking up, you are praying. Everywhere you are, you are praying. Something is wrong with you. What is going on with your life? You cannot control your mouth because fire has entered you. Are you ready for prayer today? Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Ola branda rakaderia regedere bebe kabasa mandara baka sanyanda ele yaradaria regedere bebe kabondo ele braka zaradaria regedere bebe kapa rapa baka sonda ele branda raka sonda ele blende bebe ke bereme katia regedere ya shadaba rogodo rebebe ke berebebe ke beria rebebe ke berebe bia rababa rebebe kapaya la branda raka sonda ha opia mount and declare ele gadaba haya in the name of Jesus, Rababa Kasanda Bahaya. In the name of Jesus, Rakaba, Rababa, Rebebe Kapaya, Alebranda Rababa Kasanda Haya, Loba Rebebe Rebebe Kapaya, La de la Banda Lebebe Abradi, Arebebe Rebebe Kapayanda. In the name of Jesus, Alebranda Rebebe Rebebe Kapia Bradia, Arababa Rababa Kaparememia, Regade Rebebe Kapia Bradia, Sadabada Rababa Rebebe Kaparamandia, Alebranda Rebebe Apara, Opia Mata, Command the Fire, Command the Fire. I gada rebebia, regede rebebe kapaya, manda rebebe abradi, ilogodo rebebe abrandios. The name of Jesus. E lada rebebe kebi abradi, e rebebe rebebe kapaya, rababa rebebe kapaya ndaya, o zadaba rebebe abradish, i godobo rababo rebebe kapaya. I la da raba ba rebe be ka ba ya ma za da 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 ba ma za da 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 ba ma ze de be de be ka ba ndeli ya i rebe be rebe be ka ba ya ja de bra da rebe be ka bi am brandi thank you my jesus i le ke bra da rebe bi a brandi o raba ba rebe be ka bi a brandi sha da ba da ba da ba i la ba raba ba rebe bi a sha da ba da rebe bi also kadi bra da rebe bi a rebe de rebe be rebe be ka ba ya la bra da rebe bi a bara josh are you ready? Okay. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this prayer loud and clear. Carry yourself with, with audacity today. Are you ready? Carry yourself with what? Audacity. You are going to pray today. Listen to me. You are going to pray. When fire comes, it clears every spirit of delay. It clears every form of delay. Every form of obstacle. It clears every cobweb spirit. Every satanic manipulation. Satanic dreams. Evil, evil, evil conspiracy. It cancels it. It raises it. When fire falls, it falls and make, brings out your authentic you. When fire falls, it begins to do something that is unbelievable. It begins to remove even the cataracts from your eyes. It begins to change your personality. It begins to change your character. Something emerges inside of you. It drives every form of fear. When fire enters your belly, it makes you want to fast. It makes you want to study. It makes you want to pray. It makes you want to break in a new level of anointing. Are you ready for fire today? Open your mouth and come to fire. Let the fire of revival, let it fall upon me today. Every door, every door, every door that was closed down. Every spirit of delay, let the fire enter, let the fire consume, let the fire destroy. Open your mouth and turn the fire. In Rege de Rebekasaya, Bareke Zekeya, in Rege de Barakada, Rege de Rebekaya, Lage Zakaragaduri Kataya, Oblamandi, Elemendi, Elemendi, Likazunda Haya, Rege de Ba, Rebebe Kapaya, Arababababu Shanda Haya. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Hallelujah. One of the greatest things in the Bible that we see that haunted a man who has died to self. A man who says, nevertheless, not I that live it, but Christ. Hallelujah. He began to pray. The Bible says, I speak in tongues that I'm more than you all. But same man, same man, when the angel of the Lord appeared before him, something happened. Amen. Not one of these will die. If I've committed them in your hands. And the angel disappeared. After the angel disappeared, something happened again. While we are seeing something, something that was unique. All of a sudden, this same man, this same man, hallelujah. Gathered people began to believe in the word of God around him. As they gathered, they sat together. The Bible says, Paul himself ignited a fire. That they might cool themselves because they were getting cold. Can I ask you something? Is your prayer life getting colder? Something is wrong. Is your destiny getting colder? Something is wrong. Is your, is your financial level getting cold? Something is wrong. Is your relationship getting cold? Something is wrong. Ah! I is the fire of prayer. I is the fire of consecration. I is the fire of holiness. I is the fire of his word. Is it getting cold? Ah, something is wrong. But as Paul ignited the fire, the Bible says a snake jumped out of, of the fire and wrapped around his hand. He said, hold on. Before you start revival, let me stop you. Let me stop you. But Paul says, God, God punish Satan. He said, God punish you, serpent. Where did you come from? Who told you? Who told you? Because you, we did not die in the ocean. Now you want to kill me because I'm the target man. He said, in the name of Jehovah, I shake you into the fire. I said today, you will shake every beast that has held himself around you. Every beast that says you will not release fire in your family. Every beast that says you will not be a voice in the family. Today, you must arise today. As you begin to pray, you will command her, let the fire of God enter your dream. Let the fire of God destroy every unseen force with fresh fire. Are you ready for prayer today? Hey, fire enter my foundation. Fire Fire enter my foundation. Fire enter my soul. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Reggae the rakatema. Reggae the re. E barakasaya. Rebebeke berebebeke paya. E reggae do rakade rakataya. Je te vreke saha. La gazaka tabari. Lord, release your fire. Let your fire break out. A reggae the reggae the re. A reggae the reggae the re. Reggae the rebebe apa. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you ready? Every time you see a serpent in your dream, they use that serpent to, to summon your soul, your spirit to dark places, to dark valleys, to demonic altars. Until you disconnect yourself from that evil serpent. You cannot disconnect yourself from the witchcraft coven. Are you ready to pray this prayer loud and clear? Molly Kabala Badia. Any entity, any power representing me on satanic altar. Any power representing me on satanic altar. Can we say it all together? Any power representing me. On satanic altar, be roasted by fire. Open your mouth, thunder fire. Regadara maka sandi rebebia. Ile gede rebebe kapaya. Ah regadoro kotoria. Kadoria kareka paranda. Ele gede le gede le kaprakato. Let the fire fall. Er regede reba. 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 Ba sandi lebo kusondoria. Let the fire begin to fall. Let the fire begin to fall. Let the fire begin to fall. Er regede reba beke be reba beke pa. Er regede reba beke kapaya. Anything representing me. On satanic altar, I invoke the fire today. I invoke the fire today. Let the fire consume them. Let the fire destroy them. Limitations must break. Out. They must give to the fire. They must give to the fire. In the name of Jehovah, Egoroko Torika, anything representing me, any voice representing me, any power representing me, any animal representing me, any spirit representing me. I command it to burn by fire. I command it to burn by fire. I say burn by fire. I say burn by fire. Egara, Egara Dania, Eregederia, Mandoro. Fire! 
Shada, Ega Shadia, Ega Darabakasana. I say fire from the throne of grace. Shada Baha, Rebebeke Biabradish, Malagadala Makasaya Bahaya, Malagazala Madus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. <laughs> He got brother Ribi a paradise. Mandela Bahousus. He got a Bahia. Rekete Riako Tosaha. Mandela Bebebebe a Sara Bahia. Fire today. El legate. El legate. El legate. El legate. El legate. Riakato Baharia. Let the river of the fire of God. El Rogo Joria. Marene Rikatabaha. Legate Rakateria. Let the fire of God rain. El legate Riaparada. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. <laughs> I say fire of God. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Oh, Rebbe, Bebe, Bea, Paradis. Thank you, my Father. Holy Ghost, I thank you. 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 Let the wall of fire go into every house now. Let the cloven tongues of fire sit on every head. Let the wall of fire go into every home now. Let the wind of the spirit begin to blow. Angels of the living God, take position in every house. Take position over the prayer line. Take position on the periscope. Everyone hearing the sound of my voice. I say begin to receive fresh fire. Begin to receive fresh fire. Begin to receive fresh fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will lay your hands upon your belly. You will lay your hands upon your belly. Fire purifies. Fire consumes. Fire drowns every darkness. Are you ready for prayer today? So get say bahari. I say fire consumes. I say fire purifies. I say fire sanctifies. I say fire drives away every doubt, every darkness, every witchcraft, every pollution. As you lay your hands upon your belly, hey, you begin to pray. Fire, purge my belly. Fire, purge my belly. Fire, break out in my body. Fire, break out in my soul. Open your mouth, thunder fire. E gadaraba, e regaderebebia, e la gadaraba bagabaya. Let the fire break out. Let the fire. As I lay my hands upon my belly, I purge up pollution. I'm out of fear. I'm out of every form of darkness. A garadaria fire break out in my life. Rogo Zabahaya Ayaba Rebebebia Paranda. A gadabarababa Rebebia Paranda. Shade Bracaduri Bibia. Sande Kataya. A gadala garagadia. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. There is a message. <laughs> Things are already happening already. Things will be coming out of you as fire. Listen to me. One thing about fire is that I love Thanksgiving and it's fast approaching. But you see, one marvelous thing is that people always see celebration, but they forget. They forget something. Before celebration comes, you must be purified. Hallelujah. This guy called Turkey. They call him Turkey. Amen. Rapid Turkey. They get all the way Turkeys all over. Listen to me. In this season, the sons of God are about to emerge. I mean, transfer of fire is about to emerge. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you under, you hearing what I'm, I'm, I'm saying? And do you hear what I'm saying in the spirit? Hallelujah. Amen. During Thanksgiving, there are special chickens or special turkeys that has been prepared from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. From the beginning all the way to the Thanksgiving. They call it Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Where families get together to celebrate. Amen. And but they bring something that is that people be, surround themselves with. They call it talkie, talkie. And that is the season whereby the talkie is announced. It's announced that is the day that the talkie is dead. It's the day they, before the talkie dies, they must put the talkie in the oven. Spice of the talkie, put oil, put all kinds of spices on the oil, on the on the talkie to make it beautified, to make it sweet, to make it tasty. They add all kinds of spices and they put it in the fire. Some put it 350, some put it on 400. Amen. And whoever is able to, when the kotoki is well cooked, well cooked, well cooked, it comes out and everybody wants to eat this kotoki. If the kotoki tastes good, everybody begins to talk about it. 
Everybody begin to talk about that is what happens today. You are the talking in God's fire. When fire enters you, people will begin to celebrate the grace of God in your life. You will be people will begin to salivate the grace of God on your life. Are you ready to pray? God is about to emerge you when He brings you out. You will not be only you will not be only glorious. Your name will you will answer to seven different names because there will see different kind of flavor appearing inside of you. Are you ready? When fire enters you, listen to me. There is an internal flavor, there's an internal oil. Listen to me. There's they say, listen to me, in the regular markets, there's what they call oil, 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 and they call it crude oil. That oil, when it's broken down, it's so expensive. It has put countries in bondage. It has put countries in debt. It has put countries in, in prosperity. It has established that it has changed the whole course of the nation. That is the most costly, costly oil ever. And so, so what? You see in Dubai, once one wants a desert, but because of the oil, it's been transformed to the most tourist, beautiful attraction in the world. Hallelujah. I pray for you that that oil, oil, unique oil that God has placed inside of you, it is only fire that can bring it out. It's only fire that can remove the veil. It's only fire that can discover the unique oil, the authentic oil, the empowered oil, the oil that can heal the sick, the oil that can drive away witchcraft, the oil that can set the family free, the oil of prosperity. When that oil emerges out, you will be unique. You will be special. When you begin to pray today, let every oil of grace, let the spirit, the divine oil inside of me, let it begin to give way. Let it begin to give way. Are you ready for prayer today? Araba Shanda Bahaya Baros. I can't hear somebody shouting here. Can, can you hear me today? Are you ready for prayer today? I say somebody is about to testify. Amen. You see, yes, the talk he died, died to self. He was dead. But when he opened his eyes, he could see everybody around the talking. Around the talking. Around the talking. Around the talking. People will be talking about you very soon. When this fire enters you, the real you will come out. Because anybody that dies with you, their life will be changed forever. Are you ready for prayer today? As you lay your hands upon your belly, you will send fire to the depth of your being. You will send fire to the depth of your belly. Every poison in your belly must come out. And the power of God must enter your life. The spices of the Holy Ghost must enter you. Open your mouth and thunder fire. Oh, Maracaderia. My belly must receive fire. Out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. Let the river of God, let the river of your glory break out in my life. Open your mouth and thunder fire. I command the fire. I said fire. Purge my belly by fire. Fire of God. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The mystery of heavenly language. The mystery of heavenly tongues. There are groanings that cannot be uttered. There are groanings that you want to pray. If you are saying, come out! And you are saying, rege, rege, rege. And that is the only alternation. When an unction comes upon you, you can't use that reggae reggae again. No. Amen. You can't use that reggae reggae anymore. When fire enters you, your tongue changes. And all you can do is what? Do what? When you are speeding on the highway. When you are speeding. Especially if you are driving Mercedes. And all of a sudden, you put your Mercedes on auto. When the Mercedes balances, there are many cars that take off. They speed. They begin to run initially. But Mercedes is after they have reached 100 miles. You've clocked 800 miles. That is when Mercedes balances on the road. And it begins to enter into that dimension. That no car, no car can compete. Amen. That rain, that rain. If you, until, you, until you enter Mercedes, you won't understand. There's that rain that you begin to cruise, you know something has happened. The car begins to move, begins to supersede. Every car that is racing on 60 miles per hour, Mercedes begins to supersede them. Because why? The engine is hot. You're about to enter a rain here. You're about to enter what? A dangerous rain. Hallelujah. And as you begin to pray today, listen to me. Hallelujah. As you begin to pray today, 
Amen. As you begin to command fire today, listen to me. Don't stay in the words, just the words of your tongues. If the unction is coming and your language is limiting the tongues, change your words. Sometimes don't shout. Hey! That's tongues. That's groaning. Are you hearing me today? That is an anointing. That comes upon your life. Don't go. You limit yourself. When the anointing comes, vibrate. Open your mouth and shout. Because why? In your voice comes the anointing. As I spoke, was I strengthened? When the devil begins to hear your voice, this is one for you to increase your dimension. Increase your voice. Are you hearing me today? When you are driving and all of a sudden you hear the semi truck honk at you, that is when you, you almost lose control. Why? 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 That is what the devil does. That is what you do on the devil. When you are speeding and the devil is blocking you and all of a sudden you reach the realm of the spirit, you see something is hindering you, you don't shout, hey! The devil gets scared. Even the strong one around you gets scared. Even the devils in your house get scared. Why? Because you've contacted something in the realm of the spirit. When an airplane begins to fly towards the White House, when an enemy enters the airspace, you will see a radar will detect that and a noise that alarm goes off. Fing! Alert everybody. I want us your language to be like that. You say an action! Grekata! Rekata! Shout like something! Shout like something! The last shot he gave was a violent one that he died with his enemies, and all of them died more than he had ever started in ministry. Are you ready for today? Are you ready? Because there's an unction today. Mokotol of Ondolia. Eregebara da ribebi o bonsunda. There is a mantle that is about to fall. It's a mantle of prayer. It is a mantle of prayer. It is the mantle of prayer. Lift your hands today. Mango do robo go subrahaya bradi. Lord, hide in my voice. Within my voice, uh, hide your glory. Within my voice, uh, hide your power. Within my voice, hide your anointing. My God, my Jehovah, set me on fire. Every blockage, every hindrance uh, to my blessings, uh, to my destiny. Wipe them away, wipe them away. Egaba, open your mouth, turn the fire. Oh my God, oh my God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. How many of you feel something today? How many of you feel something today? How many of you feel something today? Kalabandelebo Sabaharistis. E Rababa Rababakabando Rabobo Brohos. E Gadabada Barabaka Zanderes. Hallelujah. Mandelebondo Libibio Sudus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Ragada rababa rababa kaza brade ribibios. Elagada laba rababa ya bradesh. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Act chapter 16. We're about to go into praise. We're about to go into praise. The sister will be leading us into praise shortly. Act chapter 6, Act, I, I want to share something very quick. We have a major word that we're going to deliver. But very, very quickly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Look at what happened. Hmm. Look at what happened. In verse 17. Amen. And it came to pass, verse 16. Act chapter 16, verse 16. Act chapter 16, verse 16. Acts chapter 16, verse 16. Please share the broadcast. Everyone on Periscope, please help me share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Share it to people. Hallelujah. Share it to people. Hallelujah. Just share it to people. Share it to people around. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> in verse 16, Acts chapter 16, it says, It came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by saying. Hallelujah. Again, the place of prayer is the place of fire. The place of prayer is where you contact divinity. The place of prayer is engaging the light of God. The place of prayer is marinating yourself in the light of God, in the life of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 17. And the same followed Paul and us, cried, saying, Hallelujah. And did, and this did, and Paul crying and saying, These are the men of God. These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, She did this for many days. She did this for many days. I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out or out the same hour. Listen to me. There was forces. He said, brought she brought through the spirit of divination, met us, which brought her masters much gain. So by Susan. So through the spirit of witchcraft, through the spirit of Susan, through a wrong spirit, which was a spirit of error, her masters was benefiting. If the Bible says it didn't say she was benefiting, but the Bible says the spirit behind her benefited. Amen. She was empowered. Her, her, her forces backing her, the spirits behind her were empowered, were prosperous because the people, amen, were drained through that soothsaying spirit. Hallelujah. Through soothsaying spirit. Hallelujah. God. And Paul being grave, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus, come out of her. So it means that she mingled among these ministers every day to the place of prayer, pretending that she was with among them. And when her master saw that the hope of their gains were gone, meaning she was disconnected from that witchcraft spirit. She was disconnected from that spirit that began to drain her finances. Begin to She was being remotely used. She was emotionally used. She was emotionally manipulated by the devil, by the powers of the waters. Amen. Influences of the enemy was using her mind, her thought patterns to do the bindings of the devil. Hallelujah. But when she met some certain disciples who carry fire on unusual fire, something happened. Amen. God began to release fire and God disconnected. God released a fire to disconnect this witchcraft from her spirit. Amen. Have you been manipulated before? Have you been under demonic influence? Is your husband under demonic influence? Is your children falling under demonic manipulation? Whoever is empowering the enemies against your life? Today, God will set them free by the power in the Holy Ghost. As you enter, as you hear the sound of this voice today, I say God will send fire into your being. It will send, as the fire enters your belly, every seed that belongs to you, every seed that answers your name, every seed of your children, suddenly, suddenly, fire will fall. Amen. Hallelujah. And when the fire fall, every unclean spirit that has held, that held your children, held your family, held your future, will be suddenly disconnected in the name of Jehovah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. She did this many days, and Paul being grieved, turned and said to the spirit of command it. And when her master, listen to me, in verse 20, in verse 20, in verse 20, hallelujah. In verse 19, the same Bible says, And when her master saw that the hope of her gains were gone, they caught Paul and Silas and threw them into the marketplace unto the rulers. They caught Paul and Silas and threw them into the marketplace unto the rulers to be judged. And brought them, listen to me, he brought them to the magistrates, saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city. Can you imagine? Trouble our city. Why? Because fire was arresting the arrester. Fire was was arresting the stronghold. Fire was disrupt or disrupting the workings of the devil. Can your fire be so colossal in your family that they begin to locate you? They say, ah, who is this one that is interrupting the witchcraft in the family? Who is this one that is destroying the altars of the family? Ah, I pray for you today. May you carry fire that will re release everyone in your family to greatness in the name of Jehovah. And when a master saw the hope of their game were gone, they caught Paul Silas. Listen to me. Listen to me. Verse 20. And they brought them to the magistrates, saying, These men, being Jews, do a ceiling trouble our city. Verse 21. And teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe, being Romans. 
And the multitudes rose up together against them. Magistrates raped their clothes, commanded them to be beaten. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into the prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at what happened now. Look at what happened now. Who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison. Inner prison. Inner, that they cannot come out at all. Even if they have a hope, we are sending you to the bottomless or the bottomless captivity. Listen to me. Into the inner prison and made their feet fast in stocks. Listen to me. When your feet is arrested, you cannot move. When your feet is tied down, you are delayed. When your feet is tied down, you are, you are unstable. Because why? Your feet cannot move. Your feet cannot be, be, be your feet cannot be, cannot, can, listen to me. Your feet symbolize your elevation. Your feet locates the ladder to the top. Amen. But when your feet is been tied in the realm of the spirit, it happens to Paul. After a major revival, here a force came to Paul and Silas and begin to bind them, begin to arrest him because he has caused a social commotion in his city listen to me and there and verse 25 this is what we are doing it says what and at midnight not in the morning not six o'clock in the morning but at midnight at midnight at midnight at midnight paul and silas prayed and they pray. you were about to pray again and prayed and sang songs unto god they sang praises unto god and the prisoners heard them and the prisoner hey every prisoner in your family must hear you praise god every prisoner in your family must hear you praise god every prisoner in your destiny they must hear you praise god i said they must hear you praise god though they must hear you praise god and as they heard listen to me he said as they were praising as they had prayed verse 26 and suddenly and suddenly and suddenly and suddenly there was a great earthquake suddenly there was a great earthquake uh, so that the foundation uh, your foundation will shake the foundations of your bondage the foundations of the prison the foundation of the captivity the foundation of witchcraft the foundation we are shaking I said they were shaking and immediately all the doors were open all the doors were open the doors of favor the doors of elevation the doors of promotion the doors of blessing we're open, we're open, we're open. Suddenly, they said that doors were open. They were open. I got that bad back at I said the doors were open. Immediately, all the doors were open. Everyone's band were loser. That's what happened with praises. That's what happened with praises. When you begin to contact praise, when you begin to pray, something happens. Your bands are loser. Your doors are open. Something happens to you. And they keep up the prison, waking up of sleep, seeing the prison doors open. He drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had had been fled. He wanted to kill himself. Those who were arresting Paul, those who were arresting you, wanted to kill themselves because of fear, because of fear, because of fear. And that's what will happen. But Paul cried out with a loud voice, saying, do thyself no harm. We are all here. Then he called for a light, sprang in, came trembling. Listen to me. I must stop there. I will stop there. Hallelujah. But what happened is that a prisoner who was arresting the man, who was arresting Paul, the man who was being arrested, the man who was arresting Silas, who they told him to watch them, that the same man God delivered. He accepted Jesus. That same man God saved. The wizard in your family that's been chaining you. After your liberty today, they will they, they too will have an encounter. Are you ready for praise today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My sister, are you there? Glory to God. Live Rabbah Sunday, the baby ass. Are you there, my sister? Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I'm going to mute everybody so that this, my sister, can flow uninterrupted. Amen. My sister Jennifer, all the way from Cali, Cali, California. Amen. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead. Glory to God. I'm going to mute everybody so you can flow. Hallelujah. Go ahead, my sister. Quiet for life. Father, be with me, and I know who I am. I know who God says I am. Hmm. What, what is it? When he says I am. When he when says, he says I'm not. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. When he 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 says I'm not. Hallelujah. Walking in miracles. I'm 
and walk in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know. Kade Baraba Sonde Vehes. Rishon Alphorish. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. All for the show is excellence. All I require for life. Well, no. I know who I am. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Hmm. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> hmm. ha, ya. My sister. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. You have three or four worship songs before we go into some brutal praise. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. There is Jesus, to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. There is power. In the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Let's sing the song. Let's sing the song. Hala Pro Sikatava House. We give everybody this prayer line. Amen. Everybody's prayer line, get yourself ready. Sing this song like an army. Stand up, even as you're going to sing this song. Hallelujah. Because you're going to feel, you're going to feel something in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Wherever, wherever gathering. As you begin to sing this song, I see the earthquake and lightning taking place. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are 
awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of all praise. To your lives we raise. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God, I will bless the Lord, oh my soul, ain't all that is within me, bless his holy name. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, in all that is within me, bless his holy name. He has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things, bless his holy name. Hallelujah. <laughs> Be thou exalted, O Lord, above the heavens. Let your glory be above. The earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. <laughs> Some of you Africans know this song. My soul, that made me for the Lord, and my spirit, we praise his name. For that could not hold him captive, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore. Even angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God, Amen. Praise God, Hallelujah. Praise God, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God, Hallelujah. Praise God, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Kade bada bada dosh. Elabandeli. You know that song is very simple. If you are not African, you must understand that songs, listen, the greatest song came out of Moses. They were coming out of Israel, Egypt. As you're coming out of Egypt, there's a song that came upon them. Listen to me. When you are coming out of obstacles and barriers, when you are in the prison, there's there are songs that come out of you. Amen. There's no songs that come out of when you are prosperous. Pros. There are divine songs that come out when you are in captivity. Amen. Somebody say captivity. When you are in deep captivity, the greatest songs come out. 
This song, very simple. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Do you understand the song? Very simple. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Very powerful. Everybody, praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. 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 While we are worshiping, I'm seeing a huge coffin. Somebody being nailed in a coffin. I see a huge coffin. Please pray this prayer. Hallelujah. Please pray. Every, any of my family member. Or myself. That has been put in a, that has been put in a coffin. Say, any, any man or woman in my family or myself that has been caged by the coffin, hear me and hear the word of the Lord. By fire, opia mata tanda fire, regede rebebega barakatia, e gadarabaka sunda bahaya. Any part, any member of my family, even my destiny that has been cased by the prison, that has been cased by the 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 coffin. In the name of Jehovah, I command you, come out by fire, regede rakateka baka rakadea, e legede rebebega bea, e regede regede rebebega baya. In the name of Jesus. I say my destiny, my family, my ministry, come out from every satanic coffin. I say, come out by fire. I say, come out by fire. I say, Oba, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. My God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Ooh. The Lord just whispered to me. The Lord just whispered to me. It is Ramona. Ramona, Ramona, Ramona. I, I mean, if you remember Ramona posting something on page. How I many of you remember that? Amen. Ramona. The Ramona. I just heard the word. It is Ramona. You're going to command. <laughs> Jesus went before. The Bible says he cried. After he cried, he wiped his face. And then he shouted. La! He didn't say Lazarus come forth. He said, Father, every time I pray, you hear my prayer. Lazarus! Come forth! You are going to pray that prayer. Shout it loud and clear. Romana! Thank you. That one is whispering like you are scared. Say, Romana! Hear the word of the Lord. Come out from the coffin of death. Open your mouth and tongue the fire. Come out from the coffin of death. I command you, Romana, in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above every other name, can I prophesy every dry bone in Romana? I command you to come out, come back to life, come.
Come back to life. Come back to life. I tear every every coffin constructed against you. Every satanic coffin. I destroy the coffin by the blood. I command it to come out. I command it to come out. I command it to come out. Every coffin constructed against your life, I command your spirit, come out by fire. Ragazagadaria, I command your spirit, receive life, receive life, receive life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, this prayer is for you. If you've not prayed this prayer before, I see a sister you've not worked for three good years. Three good years. Three what? Good years. Your job has been off and on, off and on. You've not worked for what? Three good years, solid years. This prayer is for you. Hallelujah. This prayer is for you. You're going to pray this prayer. <laughs> when you pray this prayer, you will see doors will open sporad sporadically. <laughs> In that prison, they don't even need to kill you. All they have to do is to take your hair, your hair, and put it in the coffin. And that there goes your glory and your career. Are you hearing me today? Once somebody buries something in the ground that belongs to you, hmm? if they stole your wedding ring and they put it in the ground, that's it for your marriage. That's it. There will be no life in your marriage. Your husband will be existing as a roommate. And you will be existing as a female roommate. Why? There's a cocoa bind that's satisfying him. There will be no pleasure. He will look at you. Just look at you as somebody that can entertain me with noise. But as for intimacy, somebody else. Because somebody has buried a material that belongs to your marriage. And some of you are looking for your wedding ring. Looking for this and looking for that. Whatsoever was buried must come out. Are you hearing me today? How can a woman, how can a man he send his, his son to go and sleep, stay in the uncle's house for studies? When the, when the boy goes to school, the uncle will carry, carry the, 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 the pillow, pillowcase. Take the pillowcase where the, boy, the boy has laid his head and go and bury it as I bury this thing. As I bury it, I bury his career. I bury his mind. He will not be sharp. The guy who was so smart, losing his mind anymore. My son, don't let him touch your head. He has not touched my head. But I'm losing my career. What is going on? What is going on? I remember a brother, a powerful man of God. Every time he walked, every three months they fire him. Every three months, what's the rich three months they fire? So that's the two weeks they fire. Ah. I said, brother, what is going on? Talk to me. He said, my brother, when I stayed with my uncle, when I first came to America, I stayed with my uncle. He said, I don't know if that if it's relating. I don't know. But every time I pray, that man come to me. I stayed with my uncle. And this is my uncle. He went to Africa. And his wife was with me. It was his wife. So at that time, I just came from America. I just came from Nigeria. He said, he said all of a sudden, his wife started shouting. Started calling my name, calling my name. He said when he came upstairs, his, his, his wife was like, Do you don't know how to handle money. Why? Because the wife opened his mail. And his mail belonged, his mail was coming from a church. Amen? A church. And he just wrote an offering, $200. And this woman said, Nah, you don't know how to use money. So you are giving money left and right. And you don't even have a car. The woman just went downstairs straight and got his passport. He said from today, you will no more be using you will no more be using uh what do you call it again you will no more be using have access to your money took his credit card you will not be having access to your money i'll be giving you money amen in two weeks in two weeks in two weeks do you know he thought it was just a conflict he didn't know that they were trying to take his finances and his destiny to bury it that was the encounter when he said when he said it i said hey you got to pray brother you have to pray you have to pray Get your passport. He got his passport. So you got to pray. Anywhere my passport has been buried in a coffin. Anywhere my particular has been buried. Come out by the fire. Come out by the blood. After the prayer. Eh? Somebody say three weeks. 
Since he came to America, he has been doing temp job, temp job. Every three months, he get him fired. Temp job, temp job. Temp, temp, temp. After that prayer, three weeks, he got a text message. Temp jobs, he has to go for interview. But this one, he got a text message. Can you meet us in a Hilton hotel? He went for the interview. He got there, he thought it was still a temp. And they got him fired. got him hired. Amen? Got him hired on the spot. Somebody has been looking for for years. Finally got hired. And he's looking at his counting, his counting. Three months pass, he's still counting. Four months pass, he's still counting. Six months, he said, ah. Is this how it works? The enemy can bury something that belongs to you. And he can hold you. Tonight, there's going to be an earthquake. What, where, which, where, whichever in the realm of the spirit, be that in the north, south, west, east, and south, that was captured from your life and buried. Buried to keep your life stagnant in America. In the name of Jesus, must come out from the ground. Are you ready for prayer today? One hand to your placenta. One hand to your placenta. And you will shout this prayer loud and clear. What? Amen. What? You can't. You can't find your passport. You can't find the certificate. Everything. Okay. You are going to pray this prayer loud and clear. <laughs> Shout this prayer loud and clear. <laughs> Say, my glory. My property. Caged by any coffin. Caged by the earth. Do you understand that prayer? If they buried it on the ground, if they buried it in a coffin, if they buried it in the river, if they buried it, it must come out. Listen, if you pray this prayer, you will see things happen. Hmm. Do you know somebody? Do you know that? Hmm. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Somewhere in Batagri, in Nigeria, close to the beach. They saw a very big python, the biggest python in the whole of Nigeria. They caught, they caught it and they killed it. When they slot, when they opened their belly, maybe swallowed animals. They saw different kind of names of people. People, they put names of people, write it down in the paper, and the snake, it was in the snake belly. So wherever the snake went, there was no stability in their life. They were buried inside the snake. Everything about them was held, was swallowed up. Are you hearing me today? A woman, a woman. Hello? Hallelujah. Amen. A woman was so upset, so angry. Enough is enough. After hot prayer like this, I God opened her eyes. And she keeps seeing her mother sitting on her head. Her mother sitting on her head. She got angry because her mother is old. She went to the village. She locked the door of the gate and hit the gate. Everybody said, ah, what is going on? He said, Mama, come out. Mama, come out. You must tell me the truth. If not, I'll kill you. And the Holy Ghost asked her, because the man of God says, ask your mother, what did she do to your placenta? Hallelujah. What did you do to my placenta? Ah, the mama said, ah, uh, um, um, they told us in a, a I got you, you were born in a tradition, we bury your placenta. But in our witchcraft coven, they said, for me, because I was sick and I was poor, for me to be blessed, I have to eat. They say, eat your daughter's placenta. So I cook the placenta and I swallow the placenta so that I'll be healed and the rest. And so since then, she was healed and she was blessed. But she didn't, they didn't tell her that as you are eating this placenta, you are eating the destiny and the glory of your daughter. So the daughter began to suffer the same captivity the mother was suffering. She was suffering, going through the same pain. Same pain. Because why? She was living the experience of the mother. And she was in the belly of the mother. What was swallowed you? What, what, what belongs to you that has been swallowed? Swallowed. How can a sister who wants to get married went to a friend's place? Before you know it, this friend is calling me say, Ah, I can't believe you. This girl wants to be married though. But I saw her in my dream. I took her shoes in my dream. What does that mean? The guy, that woman was supposed to marry, that man left her. For some reason, he just hated that woman. Why? The, the shoes symbolize marriage. It was taken from her. 
And this her friend don't even know that she was a blind witch. She didn't even know how she was manipulated to take a shoe from her friend. That's what destroyed the, 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 the relationship with that guy. Because some her friend took her shoe. Whatever has been taken from your life that has stagnated you, today you will pray. You will pray. When I use the word earth, is if, if, if the earth has held you or tied you down, your glory. <laughs> uh, somebody don't understand. Amen. How many of you remember when I said the reaper anointing is here? How many of you remember that? Jesus. Who is this one sleeping like this? What? Holy Ghost fire. Hey, Jesus. In another realm. Hey! <laughs> Hallelujah. Man, look at that. Look at that. That one is in cruise 4. He's cruising. God will help her. Amen. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God for what God is doing. That reaper anointing is explosive. I didn't even ask anybody about testimonies. I don't want to even go there and be distracted. Hallelujah. But hey, I received my own repair anointing, you know, suddenly from unknown source. I don't know where it came from, but hey, unknown source in a different currency. Hallelujah! Hey, hallelujah! So, somebody say, I'm blessed. Somebody say, I'm blessed. <laughs> within four days, I didn't hey, listen. Within four days, a stranger unknown to me, a stranger. Say, man of God, I heard the reaper's anointing. I want to send this one into your life, your own personal life. Hallelujah. I was shocked. I was shocked. Amen. I was shocked. I was shocked. And uh, as a result of that, me, I already got a, 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 I already got a new cow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. God bless me with a good car. And some of you are jealous. It is it is well. It is well. You, you don't want to celebrate with me. If you celebrate, you receive your portion in the name of Jesus. The car arrived without no stress. I'm telling you, the car arrived with no stress. Amen. No stress. I, I didn't even, nobody knows. I didn't even involve nobody. Amen. Hallelujah. F ditto, ditto. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm like in a sign and a wonder. A shock, shock, shock. But guess what? But guess what? Before the testimony arrived, you could see my eyes. You saw my eyes, right? Huh? <laughs> Do you see my eyes? How many of you saw my eyes? Now tell me. How many of you saw my eyes on Periscope? Hello? How many of you saw my eyes on Periscope? It looked like as if I was under attack. One day, one day, I will share the testimony. I will share the warfare that came against me. Just for me to get to here and to be blessed. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. So, back to what we are saying. This thing can be buried. And if it's buried against you, it can be delayed. And so when you pray this prayer, that woman who has not gotten a job for three years. Three years. Somebody say three years. You've not gotten a job for three years. Suddenly, all of a sudden, it will come up from the ground. You will get, you will get what you need. If you're a woman, they've stolen your ring. If you're a woman, they stole your credentials. If you're a woman, they stole your property. If you're a woman, you keep losing things, losing things, losing things. Huh? If you're a woman, you keep losing things. Listen, let me, let me just tell this. Let me just tell this story to you. Um, I think it was a year or two years ago. Hallelujah. It took a year ago or two years ago. Uh, sometime early last year, I was looking for this black polo shirt. And I was looking, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> you know, there are some things you don't even think it's spiritual. So you're just looking at searching, searching, searching. I'm just searching. Ah, yeah? Yeah? Where is this thing? So I went to a meeting, a revival meeting. The man of God said, Ah, there is somebody here. You'll be searching for your shirt. Where come out? I said, Ah, not sure. I said, Ah, I've just been searching for the shirt yesterday. Now let me come out. So I came out. The man of God says, He prayed. He said, Tonight you will find the shirt. I went home that night. I saw the shirt by my bed. Ah, ah. Yeah? Why did this shirt is he? So this is spirit. This is real. And I was shocked myself. I was shocked. That is how many of your blessings will be restored today. I speak prophetically. Many of your blessings that has been caged. Your children that has been caged. Some things that their life has been caged. Something was buried. I can a woman tie a doll? Because this, woman, this man refused to marry her. Ties a doll. Invoke the doll. Call the name of the doll. The ex-boyfriend. 
put a rope around the man and bury the man on the ground. And that has kept that man in this stage. The man is losing weight. He doesn't know why he's losing weight. He doesn't know why he's losing weight. You go to hospital, they can't detect anything because of an attack. Whatever was buried against your life, as you pray this prayer, Hallelujah. Say this after me. Karaba Zondori Bibia Barakadeya. Say my glory. Hallelujah. Are you ready for prayer? Shout this loud and clear. Say my glory. Case by the prison. Ah, this one you are starting. Okay, let me say it well again. Say my glory. Caged by the coffin. My career. My marriage. Caged by the coffin. Caged by the earth. Caged by the river. Come out by fire. Opiamat and fire prayer. Regade rabaka sata bahaya. E lagande rebebe abrakado. I say come out, come out, come out, come out. E regade rebebe 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 kapaya. E lagade rebebe 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 ria. Regade rebebe 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 ria. A regade rebebe kazanda ria. E regade ria abrakata. Le regade 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 ria. A regade rebebe katoria. I say my glory. E rebarada ragadona. E le makadomba katandia. E ragazanda rikatandia. Come out by fire, Shandebosa. Come out, come out, come out. My career, my career, my career. Come out from every prison. Come out from every pizza. My children, my husband, my wife. I say, come out from every coffin. Every coffin. My marriage. Come out by fire. Every coffin, every coffin, every pit, every prison. Holding my glory, holding my prosperity, holding my riches, holding my favor, holding my prosperity, holding my glory, holding my glory. I say, get rakada, rakade. Release my glory by fire. Release my blessing by fire. Shadi brakazaba, rakada, ribibiapa. Mandela brakada, ribibia. Rakada, ribibia, kapaya. Rakada, ribibia, kapaya. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody say amen. Are you tired? Are you tired? You see, when I talk like this, there's so much. You see, when a man has when a man has so much authority on his voice, and he says, Are you tired? People can say, Man. People say, man, it's so offensive. Listen to me. I'm not trying to be offensive. Oh. It's just coming as it's coming out. Amen. The aggression in my voice is made for my enemies. <laughs> so don't take it personally. <laughs> it's made for every demon. So when they hear my voice, they terror. The terror of the Lord will fall upon them as they hear my voice. Are you praying? Are you ready to pray that prayer? Say, my father, my father. It's like a baby is joining us and praying. Say, my father, my father. Hmm, that voice sounds so angelic. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, let the terror of fire fall upon the camp of my enemies. Are you ready for that prayer? Some of us, when you pray this prayer, the Bible says they fall apart, they entered into a city. And all the enemies heard was a noise. When they heard the noise, they ran away. They gave up and they ran away from that city. Giants ran away from the city. Giants. Hallelujah. When terror comes upon your enemies, they will run because they will think that, man, they will even be calling you wizard. 
wizard because you don't know where that power came from. Wizard, you where 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 where, where now? You are a witch. You are a witch. You are a witch. I saw you in my dream. I saw you in the big screen in witchcraft coven. You are a wizard. You are a wizard because when you when you shine, everybody was running. What they can't say is that you appear with fire. <laughs> he said you are a wizard. <laughs> they will call you say you I don't want to talk to you you are a wizard you are a wizard where where now a native doctor in our village says you are a wizard then you, you just laugh he said it's the terror of the Lord it's the terror of the Lord are you ready <laughs> my father my father my father as I pray let the terror of the Lord fall upon my enemies Open your mouth and tongue that fire. Regada rabaka sade bakataya. Libran de reba baba koshula bahaya. Terror of the Lord. Terror of the Lord. Terror of the Lord. Regada reba beka berebe beka baya. Regada reba baka baraba baya. Libran de reba beka berebe berebe baya. Terror of God. Regada reba baka berebe beka baya. I say fall. Locate my enemies. Regada reba baka baya. Terrorize my enemies. Let the terror of the Lord. Let the rage of the Lord. Regada reba beka berebe beka baya. La branda raba baka bondori. Lord, release the terror, release the terror, release the terror, release the terror. Let the terror of the Lord fall upon my enemies. Kati brada rebebios. Regede rebebeke berebebia paradi. Mazada la branda rebebeka baya. Oh, rebebe rebebeke berebebeka baya brado. In la branda rebebeka paradi. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say by thunder. It is a serious matter. <laughs> it is a serious matter. When there is a noise, there is a confusion. When there is a terror, there is a confusion. Amen. <laughs> I told you, when the semi-truck is on the road, and the semi-truck, and you are thinking of a thought, you are thinking of your children, what are they doing home, at home now? What are they doing at home? You are not thinking of that sister. You see, if I reach, I will call that sister and give her the peace of my mind. All of a sudden, you just say, boom, 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 in your back. You get so scared, you get shake up, and that thought is scattered. You have to realize, hey, 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 I didn't even know I was driving. Yeah, I was driving, I was driving. Yes, yes, yes. That's what the terror of the Lord does. When the terror of the Lord comes, somebody is thinking evil of you. Somebody is planning evil. They will just hear something hit their camp. Breaky! Like an earthquake. They will shake. Hmm. You say, who is calling? Who is, who is calling that sister? Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Because God is fighting for her. Leave her. Leave her. If you don't want to die early, leave her alone. Leave her alone. You will pray this prayer. You will pray this prayer. Hmm. The Bible says they were building the tower of Babel. Babel. Demons were building to enter heaven. They were using people to build, and God looked at them. He said, ah, hmm, we better scatter the language. Why? They weren't just building any building. They were building into the second heaven, through witchcraft. God had to scatter, divide the language. You will pray. You will pray. <laughs> you will pray. Every enemy uniting for my downfall. Hmm. My father scattered their language. What is language? Language is one speech. Language is the unity of will, mind, and emotion. Language is the soulish energy. Everybody coming together, invoking powers against you. Witchcraft gathering against you. Witchcraft network against you. This one, call it this one. JZB sending letters. Persecutor, persecutor, persecutor. Everybody coming together. Hallelujah. When you pray this prayer now, you will see thunder. You will see something will happen. Are you ready for prayer today? Call the brand baby, in the name of Jesus Christ, you that sister, your son Emmanuel, ah, your son Emmanuel, you call her God only yours. You are having this terrible seizure. Let the hand of God, I snatch him out from the gate of hell. I snatch him out from the gate of hell. I snatch him out from the corridors of Satan. In the name of Jehovah, let the gates of hell over his life. Let the horns of the wicked over his destiny. I break him free in the name of Jesus Christ. I snatch him out from the gate of hell by divine authority in the name of Jesus. 
shoulder band over us and behind us. Hmm. Are you ready for the prayer? Let me find out if you remember the prayer. Somebody, remember the prayer again? What's the prayer? What's the prayer again? Yeah? Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready for prayer now? Thank you, my sister. Are you ready for that prayer? It, listen to me. There's going to be an earthquake. You see what? They prayed and they praised. And then what? The Holy Ghost fell. The Holy Ghost what? Fell. The Holy Ghost what? Fell. You're going to pray. <laughs> any power, any enemy that is uniting for my downfall, my stepmother, my great-great-grandfather, all of them planning. Listen to me. I myself, I come from a real family. Okay? My dad's brother's brother is a king. Are you hearing me? So every time they plot blood in the, in the, on the altar, it can affect my prayer life. Every time they make a sacrifice to secure the king, to protect the king or to protect their reign, it can affect my life. But when I begin to pray, fire prayer like this, it affects their throne. It neutralizes their fire directly. Even the evil priests begin to point, point, say, ah, who, is, who, is, who is weakening our authority? And they, they can begin to point and they can trace where the fire is coming from. Because I'm the first, first, first man of God coming out from my family. First coming from my, the royal family. There has never been a man of God that has come out. First. So I know the full warfare that is going on. I know the warfare. The Bible says that Jesus was from a royal family. Until Herod died, he was not permitted to enter the city. Until Herod died, he was not permitted. Because he knew another king was born. A small boy was terrorizing the throne of Herod. The throne of Herod. But God has said, you are the rising and you are the falling of many nations. As you rise, so will nations fall. As God was raising somewhere up, Eli, the house of Eli was coming down. You are going to pray. You are going to pray. I know there are battles I'm fighting. I know there are giants I'm fighting. Hallelujah. What is the prayer again? Everybody, what's the prayer again? Every what? Uh -huh. It's a powerful prayer. <laughs> <laughs> God abandoned, they abandoned the project after that. They, they will say, hey, My brother, come. That word is head, my brother, come. They begin to say, My brother, I hate you. In that same language, they were speaking English. The other guy that slapped him, he said, What is this nonsense? Are you insulting me? Are you insulting me? You are calling me here. I, I told you to come here. You are insulting me again. Why? God began to confuse the language. That is what they call confusion of language. It happens in the Christian body, which is accosting Christians nowadays, accosting pastors. Let their language be confused. Let their language be scattered. So when a pastor calls his other pastor, he says, my brother, how are you? Oh, what is wrong with you now? Ah, must you talk to me like this? Must you talk to me like this? And before you know it, the whole relationship is scattered. The enemy is using it against believers now, but people don't know. But we want to reverse this prayer against them. <laughs> Every enemy united for my downfall. Every wicked network Every network of witches and wizards. Every satanic network plotting for my downfall. As I pray, let your language and your unity, let your language, your unity, your agreement be scattered. Open your mouth, thunder fire. Regede rebebeka parandaya. Zagada barada rebebeka baradia. I say be scattered. In regede rebebeka rebebeka pa. In lagada 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 lagada. In regede rebebeka rebebia. In regede rebebeka pa. Regede rabaka tumba. Agata lamekatenia. In regede regede rekatonia. Eriakazu zavai. 
Even networker for my downfall in the waters, even networker under the waters, even networker in my household, in my family, networking against my downfall. I says, Kata, Ajebra zabra babaya libra baba rebebeka baradish take abra rebebeya in jesus name we pray say this loud and clear every enemy is in my place of work Every enemy in my place of work. Every enemy in my place of my assignment. Or every enemies in my assignment. Every enemies in my marriage. Every enemies in my career. Every enemies in my family. For those you know, Joseph had enemies. Every enemies in my family. Every enemies within my helpers every enemies within my helpers as i pray i say be scattered be scattered be scattered open your mouth and fire prayer all my enemies are in my marriage all my enemies are in my future in my enemies are in garada in my open door i say scatter scatter in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please pray this aggression. Pray with aggression. Amen. Pray this one with aggression. Say robbers of darkness. What are robbers? Robbers are demonic thieves. Thieves that are sent to rob prosperity from your soul. Say robbers of darkness. I signed against my prosperity. The first prayer is what? I arrest you by fire. I arrest you by fire. I arrest you by fire. Are you ready for that prayer? After this prayer, listen to me. After this prayer, eh, we will now say the next prayer that we will start taking back everything they stole from us. Robbers of darkness. Say, every robber of darkness. Hey, every robber of darkness that has been assigned to me from the day I was born. Every satanic robber that has been assigned against me from the day I was born up to now. Every robber of darkness that has ever visited me from the day I was born. As I pray, I arrest you by fire. I arrest you by fire. I didn't say robbers of darkness of yesterday. All the robbers that has ever visited me from the day I was born. I arrest you by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every robber of darkness. I arrest you by fire. I arrest you by fire. I arrest you by fire. Every satanic robber that has ever visited me. Every robber of darkness that has ever robbed me from the day I was born. I arrest you by fire. I arrest you by fire. Every satanic robber programmed against my life. I said be arrested. I said be arrested. 
I chain you by fire. I arrest you by fire. I paralyze you by fire. I say I paralyze you by fire. I say I paralyze you by fire. Satanic robber, be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. Regaba, Mazanda Bada Baduyas. Be arrested by fire. Satanic robber. Be arrested by fire. Satanic robber. Be arrested by fire. Regede rebe bega paradia. Mazada badaba. Mazede bede baya. Elegede rebe bega baya. Satanic robber. Be arrested by fire. Regede rebe bega paradia. Mandada badaba dia. Elegede rebe bega perebe bia paradi. Oh rababa baraba rababa ya paradi. Satanic robbers. Be arrested. By fire, every robber stand against my dream. Every robber stand against my marriage. Every robber stand against my career. Every robber stand against my prosperity. Every robber in my destiny. Every robber in my children. Every robber stand against my husband. Every robber stand against my family. Every robber stand against my marriage. Every satanic robber. Every robber in my dream. Every robber in my career. Every satanic robber. Every robber of my my time. Every robber of my opportunity. Every robber. Every robber of my glory. Every robber of my ministry, every robber of my finances, every robber of my promotion, be arrested by fire, 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 Agada Bada Bada, be arrested by fire, be arrested by fire. Katsaramando Rabaya, be arrested by fire, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested by fire. Shadaba Rakatabaha, be arrested by fire, be arrested by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> now you can take your passport. If you are in your house, everyone is in your house. You're not a job. So you can take your passport now. Just hold your passport by the hand. My passport. Your passport is your identity. <laughs> Hello. Another person sleeping now. Huh? Let me trace that person. Ah, who is that fellow? Ah. And this person is going un un unnoticed. I will catch you. LP. Laura Brown, are you sleeping? Hallelujah. Hey, my father, my father. I can't. This person is acting decoded, uncoded. Teresa, are you sleeping? Ah, Jesus. My father, help us. Ah, Kalada Laba Zundos. Hey, it is well, Teresa. You can sleep. My sister from Florida. <laughs> you can sleep on. This is how this is how we notice when you're snoring. If you sleep, you're in trouble. Jesus shouted. Peter, Peter, you think you think that you think Jesus was hurting the flesh in the spirit? Peter, Peter, <laughs> Hallelujah! The spirit is willing. Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! Glory to God! You will shout this prayer loud and clear as you hold your passport. Hold your passport. Oh. That one, that career that you've been failing, that exam you've been failing all the time. This prayer will answer to it. <laughs> Say, as I hold my credentials, as I hold my documents, <laughs> all my delayed blessings, caged by the powers of darkness, You will shout the prayer and says, Come back to me now. Hmm. Are you ready for the prayer? Say, As I hold my passport, as I hold my documents, as I hold my credentials. All my stolen and delayed blessings. Come back to me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire prayer. 
come back to me, come back to me. As I hold my passport, as I hold my credentials, all my blessings uh, that has been tied down, all my stolen blessings, all my stolen inheritance, I say, come back to me in the name of Jesus. All my stolen blessing, all my stolen virtue, all my stolen prosperity, all my stolen favor, all my stolen opportunity, I command it to come back. I say, look at me by fire. I say, look at me by fire. <laughs> All my stolen blessings, all my stolen inheritance. In Jesus' name we pray. Say all my blessings. This prayer I want to pray now. I see that some of blessings were stolen from your father. Some land, a particular brother. Some land was stolen from you. It belongs to your father. But was taken from your father before your father died. As you pray this prayer, all the wealth that belonged to your father that was captured, that prayer we have we will cause those blessings to come upon you. Hallelujah. It will release those blessings. Hallelujah. How can a beggar be suffering under the bridge? Under the bridge. And this man was suffering, suffering. One day, he decided to buy a cigarette. Out of frustration, buy a cigarette and drink. Because somebody gave him $20. Amen? A stoplight. This happened years ago. Maybe some of you remember that story. He went to the gas station. He was hungry, so he needed to buy these filthy items and something. And he he bought, but he needed some more money for food for his belly. He asked the uh, manager of the gas station, ah, "Please help me, I need stuff." The manager said, "No." So he was he went around looking for what he can get with the little change. The manager looked at him. Ah, yeah, I read in the newspaper. He grabbed the newspaper quickly, and he read in the newspaper. Said, "Ah." This guy, he looks like, he said, wait, let me wait. Let me just hold on. He said, so when the guy came, approached, he wanted to pay. He said, by the way, what's your name again? He said, he told him the name. Where, uh, what's your last name? Said, you know where your father is? He said, I don't know where my father is. And this and that. He was just wondering. Well, it so happened that the father was a millionaire. Here in America. Millionaire. Major millionaire. And somehow, before the father died, the father said, I have only one son. Only one son, and I want all my wealth to call go to him. And this is his name. You must find him. This boy was born like five, six years, seven years old, and he left. He didn't even know where his father was. But the father got the name and handed it over to the lawyer. So it was announced in the newspaper. Whoever this boy was. So the gas the, the gas station, the guy in the gas station was like, ah, your name is this, your name is that. So the, 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 guy, the man in the gas station said, wait. And he went into the office, checked again for that newspaper. Found this boy's name complete. <laughs> went back to the office. He went back to the <laughs> to the lobby. He said, "My brother, come, take anything you want in the, in, the, in the gas station." Are you sure? He said, "Just take, he said, just take." But yes, my number. You need any trouble? Come, amen. The guy allowed it for four days, five days. Kept coming to the gas station. Very soon, he says, "My brother, do you know your, who your father is? You need to connect. You need to connect. Do you know this man? Do you know this man?" Amen. Little by little, they went with this guy, and his identity was revealed. Hallelujah. The, the, the father left so much properties for this young boy. So much wealth was given to him. And guess who? Hey, guess who? That man who is the manager of the gas station was hired. He left the that job, gas station position. Amen. And began to help this man manage the properties. Manage the properties. Manage. 
you are next the line. Whatsoever wealth huh, was captured by wicked powers. This, as you hold your passport, something will be released. Hallelujah. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Hallelujah. Shaka para kazofra deri bebiya para dia. Zile mendele rebe kapara deri bebios. All. Hallelujah. Are you ready? All my blessings. All my wealth. That has been stolen. By the powers of darkness. All my inheritance that has my name on it in the camp of the wicked, as I pray, locate me by fire. Locate me by fire. Locate me by fire. Opia mata thunder fire. Regede rebebe kapara gadeya. Ila gadara baka sanda bahaya. Regede regede rebebe kapaya. Ele regede rebebe kaparandoria. All my wealth, the wealth of my father, the wealth of my mother. Pray that prayer very well. All the wealth, the wealth of my mother, the wealth of my father, the wealth of my uncle, the wealth, the wealth that belongs to me, that has been captured by my enemy. I take them back by fire. Every wealth that's been buried, that's been tied down, that's been caged by the powers of hell. I take them back by fire. I take them back by fire. Every power that is caged in my glory. All my wealth, all my promotion, all my blessings in the camp of the wicked. I take it back by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, I take it back by fire. 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 The wealth that belongs to my mother, the wealth that belongs to my grandmother, the wealth of my father, that's been caged by the devil, that's been caged by the enemy. I take it back by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Some of you don't understand this prayer. Abraham was so rich. So rich. That Isaac did not need to walk so much. Isaac prospered. But when he came to Jacob, we don't even know where the blessings went to. He was in Laban's house. We didn't even know whether Jacob was prosperous or not. The guy was just, the blessings of the father were stolen. The blessings of Isaac. Where was it? You don't even know. You're going to pray. You're going to pray. There's what they call. Listen, that's why. That's why you see uncles, wicked uncles. They are killing people left out, killing firstborn, male seed, just because they want the inheritance of their brother. So that when the brother is dead, the, the, the son will not be able to resist. Amen. Their possession. So they leave all the women alive, but they kill all the men so that the men will not interrupt them from receiving the wealth. You're going to pray this prayer. <laughs> The, all the wealth that belonged to my father, whether you like it or not, if your father and your mother were unbelievers or they were witches, the enemy has converted their glory to shame, giving them false glory and stolen their wealth. Every man on the earth has wealth within them. Hallelujah. And the reason why we are suffering is because, listen to me, this prayer we are praying, God we are to read, the devil too will release everything that God has given to you. If, if God doesn't even need to bless you. Once the devil releases all your treasures, you are really wealthy. You are already wealthy. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How can you say, how can a man sleep with a woman from the waters? And the moment the man releases his semen in the woman, the woman collects his potency from the man. Collects everything. That he cannot even impregnate a woman. Because a woman has carried everything. He has, he's, he's, he has his own seed in him. But something has caged it already. 
Those are powers. Those are powers. All the wealth of my father. All the wealth of my mother. All the wealth from my bloodline. That has been cased by the powers of darkness. I take it back by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. I take it back by fire. All my wealth. In Jesus' name we pray. We are about to we are about to we are about to be done. We are about to be done. The Bible says, All have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. The word glory means wealth. The word glory means riches. The word glory means prosperity. The word glory means splendor. The word glory means beauty. The word glory means the, the, the special divine grace. When they say this man has glory, it means it's unique, different from every other person. Glory is, is not the same like everybody. Glory varies. There's what they call high glory. There's what they call uh, um, Hail Mary. That was highly what favored. There's a high level of glory. And when the glory is so high, in the midst of millions of people, you are singled out. When they mention your name, it's like, wow, glory, glory. Hallelujah. All I've seen and I've come short of the glory of God. Your sin can limit your glory. Your sin can enter glory. And once you break the rule through sin, the devil enters in and steals your glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you come from a rich family and you're not blessed, the enemy has stolen your wealth. Hallelujah. This, this prayer I'm praying, I see two sisters. You are about to receive death, death settlement. Death settlement. Death settlement. I see this. Dead settlement. Very so there's a sister. Yes, yes, Jesus. You are from Jamaica. You are from Jamaica. You are from what? Jamaica. This has to do with property in the house. You're going to be called back and given that house. There's been a dispute, dispute going on. This house will be single-handedly given to you cheaply. Mark this word I just said. There is a house that belongs to you belong to your parents. This house will be single-handed over to you. Pray this prayer loud and clear. <laughs> so we have reached a realm now eh, that even the devils are confused. What is going on? How can we stop this brother? How can we stop him? How can we stop altar of fire prayer line? How can we do it? Because now there's, there's so, much, so much commotion. The Bible says, and the Spirit of God carried me down to the valley. Ezekiel chapter 37. And the son of man prophesy upon these dry bones. What seest thou? Say, I see, I see dry bones. Can these bones live? Hmm. Nevertheless, you have said it, Lord. Prophesy upon these dry bones. And as I prophesied, bone came to bone. Bone came to bone. And as I spoke, there arose armies of God. The armies of God. There are dry bones in your life. There are dry virtues in your life. There are dry bank accounts in your life. There are dry helpers in your life. But by your prayer today, amen, your helpers will begin to come together, bone to bone. There is going to be networking of helpers. Hallelujah. With the spirit of Ezekiel, amen, God, you are about to go to your valley, to the valley in your life. You are about to go to the valley in your father's house. You are about to go to the valley, the valley of darkness in your life. And you are about to address it. Amen. Say this the prayer, land and clear. <laughs> Every dry bone in my valley... Every dry bone within my helper, every helper in my valley, every ministry in my helper, every ministry in my valley, every dry bone in my valley, come back to life, come back 
natural light open your mouth and fire prayer every dry bone in my valley every dry ministry in my valley every dry up in my valley every gadarabakasanda haya i say come back to life my ministry in the valley of darkness as he come back to life behold the bones were very dry I speak the life of God let the very life of God overshadow every dry bone every dry career every dry personality every dry prosperity every bank account that has been dried up I speak the prosperity I speak life I speak increase I speak grace in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are a praying man, if you are a praying woman, I ought to be still be hearing your voice. Amen. I ought to still be what? Be hearing your voice as we speak. It's only those who are tired will just fall asleep. Amen. If you are if you are if you're a woman of stamina, by now I still ought to be hearing your voice. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. I wanted to give a word, but I just perceived that tonight is the wrong time to give a word. If you give a word, people will just fall asleep. People, the enemy will cause people to fall asleep because the enemy is projecting slumber in the eyes of people. Hallelujah. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. And thus hears the Lord unto these bones, behold, I cause breath to enter into you. So we're going to pray that prayer. Breath of God, enter into every dry bone in my life. Dry bones in your life. Listen to me, whether you like it or not, there are nations within you. There are nations within you, nations upon nations upon nations upon nations you're supposed to touch. But when you are down, they are down. But when the life of God enters your bones, enters your valley, every personality, every gift, every poetic song, every mysterious songs, every gifting inside of you, every prosperity, every wealth, every bank account, every help us in your life that is connected to you, the life of God, the breath of God will just jack them back, back to life. Are you ready? <laughs> Hallelujah. In verse 10, look at what it says again. Verse 9, and he said unto me, son of man, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus says the Lord, Come from the four winds, O breath, breath, breathe upon this lane, breathe upon this lane. Look at that sister, look at that sister. Mind G. Gubrando Zavadaya, your, your son, you need to you listen to me, your son in New York, you need to prophesy upon your son. As you're hearing me, you that mother, prophesy upon Emmanuel. Thus says the Lord, it says, Prophesy unto the wind, son of man, say unto the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, or oh, you say, That what? Breath, breathe upon this lane. That they may live. And, and so as I prophesied, he commanded me. He said, The breath came upon them. They lived, stood up their feet. He said, What? They stood up their feet and a seeding great army. Until this man prophesied. They didn't come home. They were still sleeping. But God says, Prophesy. And says, Thus says the Lord. Look at what he says, verse 12. And thus prophesy. Say unto them, Thus says the Lord, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up and out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I, the Lord, listen to me, and it says in verse 14, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I will place you in your own land. And then shall ye know that I am the Lord, I have spoken it and performed it. Wow. 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 Glory to God. Mighty God. You see that? You're going to prophesy today. You're going to prophesy life. You're going to mention everything that has died in your life. Your marriage, your health, your spirit, your eyes, your body. Amen. Any area, organ in your body that has died. These are bones. These are dead bones. They must come back to life. Hallelujah. And as he prophesied, as I prophesied, bone came to bone. Amen. He said what? Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, say to the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come to from the four winds, O breath, breathe upon these my bones, breathe upon this lane. And as he prophesied, a great army came forth. <laughs> the army within you. 
Hey, an army within you. They are <laughs> giftings within you. Prosperity within you. Help pass within you. Are you ready for prayer today? Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say, my father, my father, my father. As I prophesy. Let the four winds of the earth. Let the winds of the spirit. Let the winds of life. Visit every dead bone in my life. Visit every dead bone connected to me. Are you ready for prayer? <laughs> winds of the spirit. Four winds of God. Winds of the Holy Ghost. As I prophesy, my father, visit my dead bones with life. Let my dead bones receive divine life. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Life of God. Hear the voice of God. Hey, my bones. Hear the voice of God. I say my bones. My bones, my bones, every dead bones in my valley, every dead bones in my life, hear the word of the Lord, hear the word of the Lord. I say, receive life by fire. Let the life of God enter every dead bone in my life, enter every dead bone, enter every dead bone by the blood of Jesus. Every dead bone, I command it to enter. Life of God, enter my dead bones. Spirit of God. Spirit of God, enter every dead bone in my life. Breath of God, four wings of the spirit. Enter every dead bone, every dead career, every dead marriage, every dead ministry. Enter the bone by fire. Oh God, wind of the spirit, enter it by fire. Enter the bones by fire. Enter my life by fire. Spirit of God, Regadaria, visit every valley in my life. Uh. Visit every valley in my life. Oh, Reba Babaya, open the graves. Uh. Open the graves in my life. Uh. Oh, Gadabahaya, fire of God, open every grave. Uh. Lebra, let the life of God enter my bones. Arabasododosh. Elabalabaya. Thank you, my Jesus. Ale brada rebebi abarados. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How I many of you prayed? Just woo, right now. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Breathe upon your people now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Wind of the spirit, you're about to blow, you're about to blow, you're about to blow. I command every dead bone in your body, in every dead bone, as you're hearing the sound of my voice, I speak the life of God to begin to quicken your mortal bodies in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Holy Ghost overshadow you right now as you hear the sound of my voice. I speak the wind of the Spirit right now. Yes, I feel the prophetic anointing coming out, even upon your body right now. In the name of Jesus, everything that has died, every personality, every gift, every anointing, every every blessings, every every anointing, every gift of the, uh, every unique gift that was placed upon you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Spirit of God, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, begin to quicken every mortal body, quicken every mind, quicken every organ, every organ that has died through sickness, every organ that has been affected through disease. In the name of Jesus, you gave us authority, it gave us power and authority to drive away every unclean spirit and, amen, and heal all the sick, heal, heal, heal every manner of sickness and disease. Flow by divine authority, Lord, in the name of Jesus, let your spirit begin to overshadow every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, right now under the sound of my voice. Let it 
very life that the, the very life you declared in your word. You said the devil came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But you came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Let the very Zoe, the very life in your blood, the very life in the Holy Ghost. In the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the waters, and the word came forth. Let there be light. And the word came forth, and there was light. Lord, let your spirit begin to overshadow your people now. Holy Ghost, let the wind of your spirit, let the wind of your anointing, let the four winds of the earth, the north, the west, and the south. Oh God, let the wind, oh God, that brings man back to life, that bring, that awakens dead bones. Father, let the very wind of your spirit, let the very wind of your glory, let the very wind of your spirit, let the very wind as you spoke, so was I strengthened. And you breathe upon man, you breathe upon man. Father, that very breath of life, that very breath of the Holy Ghost, let it brood over your people now. Let it enter into the crevices of their hearts. Let it enter into their bank accounts. Let it enter to every man, every woman right now. Make them man. Make them bold. Let them be filled with your spirit. Let them be filled with your spirit. Let them be filled with the Holy Ghost. As they hear the sound of my voice, let them be quickened. Let them be strengthened. Let them be revived. Let them be empowered. Oh my Father, arise, oh Jehovah. I speak the release of the wind of God. Let the wind of the spirit break forth in their life. I release the wind. I release the Holy Ghost. Overshadow them. Let the river of God over overshadow them now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Quicken their mortal body. Quicken their organs with the healing power. Let the supernatural healing anointing, the miraculous healing manifest upon your life. I command every organ that has died. I speak restoration of a new organ. A restoration of a new organ. I take your body. I take a new heart for you. I release a new pancreas for you. I release a new organ for you. A new bone marrow. I, I say receive it in the name of Jesus. Upon your eyes, I, I command your eye gates to be open now. Restore your eyesight. I restore your ear gates. I restore your, e your, your ears. Your senses back to you in the name of Jesus. The feeling in your right leg. Right now, let it be restored. Every sickness or sporosis is gone now in the name of Jesus. Headache, migraine, gone now in the name of Jesus. Lower back pain is gone now. Pain in the ovaries, gone now in the name of Jesus. Right now, right now, right now. Aka, ringing in the ears right now. I command your ear gates. Every dumbness, deaf and dumb spirit that is over your life. I bind that spirit, cast that spirit out. Lose her. Let her go. Amen. Painful menstruation. Hallelujah. Karanda Rebebe Kapaya. Manipulated menstruation. I break that demonic manipulation right now. In the name of Jesus, I release your glory. I release your children right now. You're right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I release your daughter from that witchcraft manipulation. I release your daughter from that witchcraft manipulation right now. I release her mind in the name of Jesus. I release her glory in the name of Jesus right now. In the name of Jesus. I release your son from that witchcraft manipulation in the name of Jesus. Kadabarabaya. Let her brain be released. Let the brain of your daughter, let your brain that has been arrested, stolen at school, stolen by her peer friends. In the name of Jesus, I release a memory. I release a memory. I release a memory. I release a memory. Kabara Dori Bibiosh. Mentelebe Kabala Bia. Yuri Bibia Parandori Bibia Paradia. Zaliban Telebebe Kabaradia. In the name of Jesus, I command the mind of your husband. That has been caged by a strange woman. The mind of your husband that has been caged by a strange woman. Let him be released. Say his name quickly. Say his name quickly. If you're that woman that is hearing me, that you feel like your husband is acting abnormal, say his name. Why I say this prayer? Say his name right now. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. Right now, wherever you have been tied, wherever, and as I pray this prayer, just mention the name of that person that you want to be prayed for. In the name of Jesus, as I pray for you, Ah, that brother, that sister, in the name of Jesus, wherever you have been tied by the powers of darkness, wherever your soul has been tied, arrested, I untie you by the blood. I untie you by fire. I untie you by fire. I untie you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Oh, Brenda Rebebeke be a Breathe upon me, Holy Ghost. 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 I speak into your eye gates. Receive the life of God. Hallelujah. 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 Lay your hands upon your ears. I'm going to say this prayer loud and clear. I command that every blockage, every dam, every obstacle, every obstruction, every soundproof that has been placed in your ears, 
preventing you from hearing the true voice of truth, the true voice of the Lord, the true voice of the Holy Ghost, the true voice of your maker. Every blockage that has been assigned to hear the voice of deception, every cutting wood, every cutting board, every obstacle, barrier, spirit of deafness that has been programmed to silence the voice of your helper, programmed to block the voice of your maker, block you from hearing the voice of your maker as I lay my hands upon my ears. All those attached to this ministry, all those hearing the sound of my voice, I unblock their ears. I unblock their ears. I unblock their ears in the name of Jesus. Let that evil blockage against the voice of God. I put it out by the blood. I put it out by the blood. I put it out by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. I unblock your ear gates in Jesus' name. Your ears. Open now. Open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Is somebody blessed today? I Amen. Hallelujah. So deve 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 be a sabas. Halevre de rebe be a paradosh. You are blessed. You are blessed. Amen. Wow. Praise God. I pray that in the name of Jesus, that God will visit you today. Say this prayer loud and clear. Say, in this month of November, I receive rest for my soul. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, I receive rest, internal rest. Rest for my soul. Rest for my family. Rest financially. Rest in every area of my life. Rest from my enemies. Lord, I receive rest. In this month of November, Lord, give me rest. Give me rest. Give me rest. Eternal rest. Rest in my heart. Rest in my marriage. Rest, oh God, rest. Divine rest. Give me divine rest. Give me divine rest. Give me divine rest. Oh, my Father, give me divine rest. Zada bada baka bara dadia. Lord, give me divine rest. Rest, rest. Let the rest of God rest upon me. Let the rest of God rest upon my children. Let the rest of God rest, visit my husband. Oh, rest of God, come upon me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak clarity, clarity upon you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are blessed. Is my my sister? Is she there? Hmm. Sipoy, are you there? Hey, praise God! <laughs> I always love hearing your voice. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Huh? Amen. I praise God. Praise God. Listen to me. Send when you when this video is recorded or transferred to YouTube, send it to people because the anointing on this prayer line today. I don't know. I don't understand it. I know it's brutal. Amen. Where it came from, I don't know. But I know that God is releasing ancient mantles. Mantles of fire is releasing. The message I wanted to preach today. I won't be able to preach it today. I'll preach it on Monday. Hallelujah. Monday. Somebody say Monday. What time is it in the East Coast? Huh? Okay. Oh, we are one hour behind now. Not yet. Too. Is he about to shift? Is Okay, so we're on 150. So we're on 156 right now. It's 156 right now. Yes. Oh yeah, 256, 3 o'clock. Listen, 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 listen. Spread your hands quickly. Spread your hands quickly. Spread 
Oh, let me let me mute this phone. Let me mute this thing so you hear me very well. Spread your hands very very quickly right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Sade do you hear me? Spread your hands quickly. Spread your hands quickly. Spread your hands quickly. Ko re va zombrande di this this. We are receiving packages right now. Look at this beautiful girl. Show the best. Beautiful, well dressed girl. It's like she's like four or five years old. Coming before this woman, you are approaching your sisters. This girl comes with this package, almost like a dress, packaged. And putting it on your hand, you are bowing down to embrace her. Now, this lady is dressed in white. I don't see any wing in her. I mean, I don't understand if it's an angel. I don't know what is going on here. But she's dropping this package on your hand. <laughs> I heard a voice says, Pastor, this is for you. I opened the package. I'm seeing a key, a big key, a swollen key in the mouth, in the edge. Caught of it. Just open your hands. Open your hands. So the way it is. Look at us. Look at us, sister. Look at us. You opened your hands and they were like, you know, dead skin on your hand. And you, this girl just came with a sponge and was rubbing your hand, wiping off those dead skin. It's like whitish dead skin. Wiping off like, like a sandpaper, scraping it away. And all here is being rubbed on your hand right now. Wow. So many things were stolen from you. So many things. It's, it's, it's evident that you've not received blessings in a long time. Look at that hand. See how, wow, scraping your hand and it's, it's like almost like when you go before a salon and they try to make up your hands. How do, what do they call it? Can you remember the name? When you go for a food spa, uh, they want to call the hand or whatever this it is, like scraping that stuff and it's rubbing all here on your hand. Ah, prepare for increase, prepare for the prosperity. One sister just received only one small gift, and when she opened her hand, it was a pen that was given to a pen. <laughs> a pen was given to you, even right now, even right now. Oh, 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 Jesus. A six year old runs with this lady. And this, I don't know why I'm seeing young girls. This, this girl, you, you, this woman hugged this girl. And this lady was expecting to receive what others were receiving. But this girl took a small handkerchief, a white towel, small, and gave it to this woman and says, it's for you. Jesus asked him to give it to you to wipe your tears. Oh, Jesus. Look at that sister. Look at that sister. Another and, and wow, look at that. 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 A sister came out with a trail and she brought grapes. Grapes in this trail. And she asked you, say, woman, eat it. Woman, eat it. Eat it. It's for your kidney. For your kidney infection. Eat it. Eat it. Eat these grapes. Eat it. Eat it. It's for your kidney. It's for your kidney. It's for your kidney. Wow. God, I received that gift also too. Look at our sister. You are giving the eyeglasses. Eyeglasses. And I hear the word comprehension. 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 You begin to hear and see deep revelations in this world. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, thank you. 
that one really touched me when I saw that lady. She smiled, she hugged this girl, and the girl brought her to a towel or to a handkerchief and says, This is for you, for you. Jesus asked me to give it to you to wipe away your tears. Oh, that touched me. to the lady that has a pen. Oh, I see the Lord. I see songs. It's going to be a birth out of you. You're going to start writing songs. You're going to start writing songs. Music will come out of you during your devotion. I see music coming out of you. Music, music. What a mystery. What a life. Ah, come on. Ah, Hallelujah. Ah, Jesus. 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 Today is today is shocking. Today is really amazing. Amen. Please, um, please, uh, amen. Please, uh, please understand that some of some of us will do Saturday morning. Saturday morning is something that I am not feeling uh, pushed to continue the Saturday morning. But however, Saturday night video, I believe the Lord wants us to start Saturday night videos. Amen. Saturday night videos. The Lord wants to start having Saturday night videos instead of morning, Saturday morning. Amen. How many of you agree to that? Amen. Amen. Whatever the Lord wants. Where well, the Lord wants this one. That's why it gives me grace. Hallelujah. I like that. Whatever the Lord wants. Praise God. So we're gonna start having Saturday brutal night videos. Why? Saturday into Sunday. So any force of the wicked that is gathering to pollute churches, Jezebels receiving marine powers to influence the pastor, influence the message, by our prayers, we will stop the work of the devil. Are you hearing me? And some churches will be so fireized in Jesus' name. God bless you, those joining us from London. You are loved. Hallelujah. Man, I'm, I, don't know, I don't know if I'll be able to go to bed today. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are blessed. Amen. We thank God for everyone today. Amen. I can't believe, man. This, you know, how I many of you remember that word that says your warfare is over? Everybody remember this is that time the Lord said it. I've been seeing what they call restoration. Restoration. If if God decides to listen to me, there are some people that will say, you know, Pastor, um, the Lord is moving me on. The Lord is uh, I feel like like you know, Brother Joe, you know, Brother Joe, he was with us. And uh, recently, you know, he, he texted me, uh, what was it, two weeks ago. He had to go see God, and the Lord said, okay, now he's been released uh, from the prayer line. And he texted me. And I said, oh, sure, no problem. No problem. I said, you are loved. And I prayed for him. I said, you are blessed. Amen. Thank you for helping us and, you know, taking us. So, you know what I mean? He helped us. And I pray a, a blessing for him that the Lord will add to his future based on how he saved us. And not everybody will, hello? Why am I hearing that noise? So much movement. Are you using a wire? Amen. So not everybody has been called along to work with you for the next 30 years. Some can be one year. Some can be five months. Some can be two years. Amen. It all varies. Hallelujah. So we have to, sometimes many people get so kind of and they get emotional. You have to stay with me for life. No, it's not for life. There are some people that are just temporal. And you have to celebrate them. But when the Lord says, your warfare, thy warfare is over. Oh my goodness, I knew it was over. I knew it was over. I knew it was over. Ever since, blessings upon blessings upon blessings. And uh, you, you are next in line for a miracle. Amen. The prayer we just prayed, pay attention. Within two weeks, you will get a very unique job. <laughs> a what? A unique job that will shock you. Shock you. Shock you. Jesus' name. Shock you. If your son, if you are blessed and your son is the one that needs a blessing, your prayers today have released something for him. 
release something for him. The, 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 the scholarship was trying to get, you should be surprised that he will just get it. Simple, easy. Hallelujah. You are loved in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's share the grace before we go. If I continue talking, the grace is there to talk more. So let me let you go sleep. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, before you go, just, just say a word of prayer for me easily. Easy prayer. Let me let me get on my knees so that you can say a word of prayer for me. Amen. Any kind of prayer that you need to offer, I need it. I need it. I need it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, help your baby. Let grace fall upon your baby. That, that woman on Periscope, I speak grace upon your baby. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Okay, let me get on my knees, everybody. Hallelujah. Oh, you will deliver safe. In Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody, amen. Are you there to pray for me? I mean, if you want to pray for me, really, really, for me, depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Okay. All right, all right, let me get let me get on my knees. Hallelujah. Ah, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Well, just begin to pray for me. What you pray for yourself, what you wish yourself. Hallelujah. Just pray for me. Kala baro babos, ila bandi rebebe kapara di biabrosh, rebebe rebebe ke biabra dosh, manzada bara bara dis. Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. in Jesus name we pray Amen. Finally, let, let's pray that God will, God will empower all intercessors. Every intercessor, every worker in the ministry, the Lord will strengthen their hands. The Lord will give them grace, empower them. Amen. God will remove every form of discouragement. They will be strengthened, strengthened. Every intercessor, every warrior, every minister. On the brother for this ministry, oh God, revive them, oh God, empower them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, my, 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 my sister, Sipwe. Can you close us in close us in prayer? Close us in prayer. Mm -hmm. Father God, we give you glory, we give you honor, thank you for this time. Oh yes, God, I just pray that you are God. We thank you that you are God. 
Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord.
and they go on the internet because they've been a preacher in Europe they go on the internet and they start talking about men of God who God is using with major revival and they start trying to explain the man of God how they should give in about giving they start trying to dissect it there's no grace there God will not bless you for doing that but this deception of pride is like I can talk about it I'm an apostle I need to no 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 you want to dissect that talk to him one on one that's maturity you don't go on the media showing all unbelievers showing um, people who are still feeding on milk showing them everything and showing them how it's going to be given how what is appropriate not appropriate that is not these are men of god these are not uh, these are not false prophets these are not wizards you know you, you, you are just exposing the body of christ god is not interested in that where you are destroying another yeah then you not you go as far in his video showing his face and these are three different men of god that are shaking nigeria and you don't have a fear and you have people that are following you 250 and you're happy no let not an evil speaker be established on the earth that's what the bible says and people are spreading and sending his text his videos about titan to everybody everybody's happy that he's talking oh please there's no grace in that oh we need to be careful the guy is digging his own grave the bible says judge not that ye may be judged you judge sinners, you judge unbelievers, you judge wicked people. Hmm. Praise God. Hmm. Praise God, oh. Hmm. Praise God. Somebody say, Praise God, oh. Hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are loved in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah as well i mean i love you guys i have to go now look at the time me i don't want to even go anymore but anyways i will have to go is is a must so one hour has been rolled back already i believe so right yeah one hour just rolled was rolled back now so we are we are now 130 119 you're not 2 219 there amen love you guys go and have encounters with angels in jesus name amen. i'm hearing i'm hearing i'm hearing the sound of pots somebody's intruding to eat some soup eh tonight you're about to eat again I'm hearing the pot in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, all right. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life. And I will dwell in God's house forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Bless. Thank you. Bless you. Bye bye. Amen. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. We're only thirty-eight. Many of you. Hey, we need to share this broadcast in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Love you. See you on Monday. Hallelujah. Bye bye. Hallelujah. I will call you now. Bye bye. Mm. Hallelujah. Bye bye.